Hi, I'm Teddy Burris, your LinkedIn coach, trainer. I'm all about helping people master this business tool. This morning, one of my clients sent me a message that said, Teddy, I want to be able to look at people's profiles, but I don't want them to know I did it. And she wanted to know how to do that. And so I'm going to share with you really quickly in this short little video how you can hide, how what happens when you hide, and then I'm going to give you a quick little tip about how to look at people's profiles and they not even know you did it. So you ready? I'm going to show you how to play hide and seek on LinkedIn. Here we go. Number one, the way you go change your settings to, to do the hide and seek is you go to privacy and settings. Now, once you're in privacy and settings, you need to click on privacy. And under privacy, you need to go down to profile viewing options and you need to change this. Now, when you change profile viewing options under your privacy settings, there are three ways you can set your profile viewing options. Number one, totally visible. This is being totally public. And if you want people to know you looked at their profile, you use this option. And that way, they will see under people who viewed their profile that Teddy Burris looked at their profile or that you did. Number two, you can hide behind an industry or you can hide behind an organization if it's a large enough organization. Lately, I've been seeing more industry than I've been seeing uh, organizations. So if you choose this option, it's just going to say to the individual that you viewed their profile that someone in this industry viewed their profile. The third option is to go totally private. If you go totally private or become an anonymous LinkedIn member, they will not know who looked at their profile. They will only know their profile was viewed. Now, here's the thing that's important for you to pay attention to. If you play hide and seek, which means you choose private uh, profile characteristics and hide behind an industry, or you go totally anonymous, you are not going to see who viewed your profile. That information will go away. And furthermore, you're not going to see who did view your profile. It, it wipes it all away. So be very careful when you make this selection because you're not going to be able to see who viewed your profile. However, if that's not important to you, choose these options and play a little hide and seek. I prefer to stay totally public myself, haven't found a reason why I need to hide some of my recruiter friends, executive recruiter friends, some of my uh, merger and acquisition friends, they want to play a little hide and seek, and I understand that. For me, I don't need to do it. Now let me show you this. If I go, if you do want to play hide and seek, but yet you still want to view someone's profile, I'm going to show you a trick of how you can view their public profile and they not know you did it. So here's the process that you want to use to do a search and view LinkedIn members' profiles without them knowing you're doing it. You're going to do this search in Google using what's called an incognito window. Now watch how I do this. Let's say I want to look for someone, let's say I want to look for Nicole Walters. So if I point at her name, I'm not clicking on it to go into her profile. She would know I did that if I did. I can see this Nicole Walters is a director of sales and I generally grab this too. Blonde hair, purple dress or dark blue dress. Blonde hair, purple dress, director of sales. I grab her name. This just helps me when I go look at it in Google. I'm going to copy that. I'm going to go into Chrome, File, New Incognito Window. This is why I like Chrome, it has incognito windows. In an incognito window, I'm going to go to Google.com. Now, here's the trick. In a Google search, I'm going to type in site, S-I-T-E, colon, LinkedIn.com slash I-N space. I'm going to put quotes around her name, Nicole Winters. Now, I know she's the director of sales, so I'll put director of sales there. So it's going to look in the, in the website, LinkedIn.com, in the folder IN for indexed content, and it's all indexed, for Nicole Walters and director sales. 
So let me uh, just put director sales and hit search. Nicole Walters, director of sales, Greensboro, North Carolina. This is probably her. So if I click, click here, it's going to show me her profile, blonde hair, purple dress. So I got, you know, I remember the picture and the color of the dress. This is her, director of sales, Greensboro, 325 connections. I'm looking at her public profile, pretty well filled out. Uh, and so, and she doesn't know I'm doing it. Now, furthermore, I can, if I didn't get the right Nicole Walters, this is interesting. LinkedIn's actually put this little search by name feature here for people who are not logged into LinkedIn. So I can put N-I-C-H-O-L W W A L T E R S and I can look for another one. Though it turns out there's only one Nicole Walters that has that first name and last name. That's interesting. That's pretty cool. I can look for other people. Say I want to look for Teddy Burris. And there's Teddy Burris. Let's look, let's say I want to look for, uh, you know, a, a buddy of mine named um, Josh Seibert. There's Josh Seibert. Now, it happens to be a few of them in here. So, but that shows me the picture, shows me their headline, shows me their current position. This is him. I can't click on this. If I click on view full profile, it's going to want me to log in. But I can click on right here, and now I can see his, uh, his public profile as he has set it up for me to see, I can't see who he's connected with, but I can do research on who Josh is without him knowing I looked at his profile. I'm Teddy Burris. I'm a LinkedIn coach and trainer, public speaker. I'm all about teaching you how to master this business tool. I hope this introduction to incognito windows and site search is useful.